Hello YouTubers, today, May 27, 2019, I want to go over some of the basic features that the Garmin Forerunner 945 has and uh, some of the basic settings and how to go get to those settings. In the past two or three videos that I have done, I have only outlined um, basic features, but not the settings themselves. So let's get to it. Okay, so as you can see, um, I have the watch in front of me, obviously. This is the Garmin Forerunner 945. 9, 9.45 right there. So the first thing you're gonna notice is that it has, it has five bottoms. Three bottoms on the left hand side and two additional bottoms on the right hand side. Each bottom has a function. This is the back bottom. This is the start stop bottom for uh, when you're doing the stopwatch functions or stop and start when you're doing um, uh, running uh, activities. Then this is the, uh, let me get the pen here. This is the down bottom. This is the down bottom. This is the up bottom. And this is the light bottom. It'll cause the watch to illuminate. Let me click on the light bottom light bottom there is illuminated so what I do is that uh, to navigate through menus I click on the down or up bottom so right now I'm in one of my three favorites watch faces that I have installed on the watch and I'm gonna go to um, I'm gonna navigate through the um, I guess they're called the widgets so here I go. The first one is gonna take me to calendar. The second one is gonna take me to face, Facebook notifications. The third one is the heart rate measuring. And uh, that last one is uh, my activities. Now, if I wanna exit from this um, uh, carousel, all I have to do is uh, hit the, um, the back button and it'll take me back to the watch face, you see? So it's as simple as that. So if I wanna navigate through those uh, menus or widgets, I press either the down button or the up button. Let's press the up button, you see? So I go up and I have more menus there to display. Uh, weather, temperature. Again, if I want it, I'll altimeter, I have the altimeter. So barometer. So as you can see, somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the middle there's going to be a a big circle so if i start let's hit back if i start from the beginning if i press up it's going to go from that circle the carousel is going to move up now if i start by pressing the bottom down it's going to start from that bubble it's going to go down so i'm going to press down now and you can see the carousel moving you can see there now if i exit there's a compass if I exit, it takes me back to the watch face. Now, what's the, what does the illuminator bottom does? It does a couple of functions. Uh, for example, if I'm in the home screen where my installed watch face is, and I press and hold the light bottom, this other menu carousel is gonna populate where I can ac have access to the stopwatch and Garmin Pay. I'll show you. I'm gonna hold it like for about one second or two there so if i press the illuminator light bottom it brings up this carousel and i can navigate it using the down or up bottom so i have a timer find my phone let's say find my phone works there it is it works because i have the phone right in front of me so uh what else it has power off. I can turn the watch off. It has an assistance, connectivity, transfer in progress, and all these other um, all these other options. And there's Garmin Pay. If I hit this button here, then I would activate Garmin Pay. Obviously, in order to activate Garmin Pay, for security reasons, I have to enter a PIN, a four-digit PIN. 
and that would pretty much activate the watch to act uh, to make a payment on Garmin Pay to make a purchase. So I'm gonna exit. I'm gonna hit the back button again, and it takes me back to the main. It takes me back to my main watch face. Now. What other functions the up button does besides going back and forth? If I am in the main watch face, in the main uh, menu, I would say, on the Forerunner 945, and I hit and hold the up button, and I press and hold the up button, it's gonna take me to the, 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 the settings, the basic settings of the watch. There you go. So these are the settings that the watch has. I can from here I can change my watch face. I can create an alarm clock. I can look at the history. Plus I have access to all these other activities. Activities and applications, widgets, controls. And if I it, as you can see there's another option for watch face. And there's an option here for watch face. This is to change the watch face. This option is to change the watch watch faces. The second watch face option is to edit the settings on the watch face. So here, if I press here, it'll give me the um, the option if I want to uh, if I if I want to reorder or change a specific watch face. Like let's say I just chose that watch face. You can see there that I can either apply it or I can customize it. Customize is the word. So if I decide to customize, it'll give me options as to what do I want to customize. As you can see there, uh, the first um, uh, Apple calls them, uh, uh, what does Apple calls them again? Complication, I can, I can change what that complication uh, I wanted to output. I can either make it output Monday 27, 27th May, uh, give it the heart rate uh, reading, uh, steps, how many steps I have walked. I do not know what that is, goal, I believe, um, and so on, or battery uh, percentage, uh, uh, sunset. So depending on what I wanted to choose. And if I wanted to apply, I'll just hit uh, start and it'll uh, apply it. If I want to exit that setting, I go back. Remember, I keep using the back bottom for anything. Do I want to make ch save changes? Yes, I hardly use that watch face. So again, uh, let me exit completely. Let me exit. Well, it defaulted me to that watch face. So I want to change that watch face. I go here, I press the up button and uh, uh, hold it for like two seconds or so, click on the watch face. And then I choose the watch face that I had on these are three of my favorite uh, watch faces that I have installed. Uh, Rails, Data Lover, and the other one, uh, I forget the name right now. Uh, two of them are, are made by uh, Mr. Peter um, Decker. Okay, so this is the watch face that I was on. I believe it's called Rails. So I want to apply it. Okay, so then let's go back to the menu. I'm going to press and hold the odd button. And there I can scroll down to all what is available on those menus. There is where I previously was on watch faces. Wrist heart rate, sensors and accessories. Let's see what I have. Poles, oximeter, compass, altimeter, barometer, zero, location, and my AirPods that are connected to this uh, watch. Music, I have options there for music music providers as you can see i have my music store directly on the watch i am using garmin garmin express on my pc to synchronize the contacts i mean to synchronize my music but uh in the in the event that i wanted to add a provider uh, there are providers out there these are i believe is one of them online providers but too bad they don't have itunes as one of the providers if they had iTunes, uh, that's what I use because I, I'm a subscriber to iTunes. Uh, so let's go back to the menus. There's phone, Wi-Fi. Let's see what Wi-Fi has. Uh, if I can recall, I input the Wi-Fi password using my phone. So audio profiles, user profile, tag. I mean, it has a lot of options, a lot of options. Maps, navigation, system. Let's see what system has. Language, time, backlit. 
I can customize the uh, the amounts of the, the timeout display. I have it at 30 seconds to timeout, but I can change that to, to uh, one minute, two minutes, and no timeout. Look at that, no timeout. So I'm gonna exit that menu. I'm gonna exit by hitting the, the back button. I'm hitting the back button, back button again, and there you go. It takes me back to, um, it takes me back to the main uh, watch face. I'm gonna change my watch face while I'm here. I'm gonna put my favorite, one of my favorite three, which is Data Lover. Okay, so now, uh, what does this button does? The start stop button. What function does it have? Does it do? Okay, so whenever you're gonna do, when whenever you're gonna do an activity, what it does is that um, it's like a shortcut to your activities. If I press and hold this button, it takes me to the activities that I want to. Uh, do so I can either navigate walk or run so if I want to start a walk I click here I wait for the GPS to lock in once GPS is locked in I mean I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna wait for any GPS because I'm indoors right now and it's gonna have difficulties all watches have difficulties so but here is what I would start oh wonderful look I got a GPS lock lock in so i would start here and it starts this is where the the um uh that metric how that metric works and let's say that uh i had completed a lap i would hit the uh the back bottom serves also as a lap measure to measure laps so that's lap number one let's say uh seven minutes have passed and i'm gonna do another lap lap number two let's say another seven minutes have passed lab number three lab number four and so on now once i want to stop a, a workout the stop start bottom also works uh, as a function to stop a, a, a workout so here as you can see i have stop that's the, the universal stop bottom now it's asking me if i want to save resume or um Discard. I'm gonna discard because I didn't do this workout. It's just for instructional purposes. So I'm discarding. It wants to confirm yes. And so that's what the stop. That's what the start stop bottom does. Uh, and here I would go back. I would go back to the main display. Now, how do I access the music controls? As you know, if you notice, uh, when I when I pressed the light button and I was able to access the carousel, I don't know if you recall, but there was no music options there. You don't see music there, do you? Okay, so that's not a, a functional way to access the music. The way you access music is that you press and hold down the down button like for about a few seconds and it'll take you to the music shortcut. Watch this. There you go. So that's the music, um, that is the music um, application. Here are my playlists, playlists. So I can choose to listen here, any of those, um, you know, playlists out there. And if I do so, if I press on the start stop button and I, I push play on one of those songs, it's gonna attempt to connect to my AirPods. But again, that's how you access the music um, the music um, application. So let's say you're gonna go out for a run and you plan to, you know, stay on your run, maybe 25 minutes, you're gonna do a couple of laps. Um, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not, a, I'm not an, um, a, a, an athlete. I mean, um, it takes me time to complete laps. So let's say if you plan to stand out, stay out there for 25 minutes and you're gonna be using your, your uh, Bluetooth headsets. <laughs> So what I do first is that I activate my music. I go here, I press and hold the down button. I look for a playlist. Once I find my playlist, uh, I hit play. Obviously it's gonna try to attempt to connect to the AirPods, which is not gonna connect because I don't have them activated. Uh, once the music is playing, then I exit and then I press the start stop button and I go to my workout, my intentional workout, whether if it's gonna be a walk or a run. Uh, usually what I've been doing recently is that I'm, I've been doing walks because um, 
at the park where I go exercise, um, I first exercise with my family and I we walk the first two laps. And once they're done walking those two laps, they go and do another type of workout and I stay on the track and then I start running. So I leave it and walk. And that's why I mark my laps. So while I'm doing the workout, it's at the same time listening to music. And if I'm not mistaken, it can multitask. You can, if you're on the, if you are on the uh, workout application is active and you want to go to the uh, music application, all you have to do is press and hold this button. And you see, it takes you to music. And if I press and hold the stop start button, uh, it, that doesn't do anything. That only works uh, functions with, it, it would only activate functions within the application, within the music application. So I would have to go back. I, it won't multifunction. I would, I would have to go back and then I would, I would press the, um, the start stop button to take me to the, um, to the um, uh, workout app. So those are, that's pretty much the basic settings that it has. And then again, um, one thing I didn't mention on my previous um, video that I did was that um, the application on the, on the phone that shows you the workout that you have done. Recently, I haven't gone to done any workout, but um, this is the Garmin Connect app installed on the phone. Uh, I, I have an iPhone right now. It also has a companion. It has a companion app that is the uh the desktop version which is accessible online and i wish you guys can see it um uh, i'm gonna disconnect the um i'm gonna disconnect the um the the uh the video i'm filming so that i can twist the camera and i'm gonna show you what the uh, garmin the garmin connect desktop version looks like but um you know it's a companion it's a companion in addition to what you have here and you can manipulate you can you can customize some settings and once it finishes synchronizing back to the watch, it'll uh, make those those um, uh, changes stick. It's very cool. So this is the desktop version of the um, of the um, Garmin Connect. I have both apps open. I have the um, Garmin Express, Garmin Express, which is the app that I use to synchronize my music. If I was to click here to Garmin. Garmin Connect, it sends me directly on my browser to the Garmin, to the Garmin Connect app. So this is pretty much the same thing that I'm able to view here, but it's a desktop version, but it, it's more detailed. And obviously, since it's on, a, on on the computer, you know you have more more um it's more roomy. So it tells you works out that you have done. Here's one of my recent works out that I have done. As you can see there, that's where I mark my laps and it tells you how much time, how many miles. I did 2.32 miles and it took me about 35 minutes. Uh, again, a lot of athletes are going to make fun of me, but uh, I'm not an athlete. Uh, I'm just a, um, you know, an average Joe that um, I, I, I wanted to get this watch and I love all the functionalities that it has and I prefer it over the Apple Watch for now. So that is the Garmin Connect. Um, desktop companion that um uh, is the desktop companion that um you know it works with the uh the pc the the the, the phone version that is that, that it already uh it's already um installed on on your on your phone so thank you again youtubers thank you again for watching this um uh, this um uh, additional you know um uh, uh, overview video of the um, the functions that the uh, Garmin Forerunner 945 has. I really appreciate it, and uh, I hope to um, that you 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 hit the views and uh, hit a like. Thank you.